Hello intellectuals around the world, 22 by 7 is a rational number and here is one of my childhood story that goes through it. So I believe I was in 5th or 6th grade when I first encountered pi. We were discussing about the areas and perimeters of stuff and we stumbled upon this area of circle. We learned that area of circle is given as pi r square. Here our teacher told us that this pi is a constant and it basically has a value of 22 by 7. Okay. And she went on to end this class on a beautiful note. She said that this pi is an irrational number. Now we already had a bit of idea about number system and we knew what she meant. Okay. So basically for those who don't know, irrational number is a number which when written in decimal form never ends and never recurs. Okay. So if you have basically a number like 2.18765 that goes on and there is no pattern over here. Okay. You cannot see any pattern within the uh, decimal places. There is no recurring pattern and it does not basically ends. Okay. So she meant pi is number, uh, pi is a number of somewhat this kind. Okay. Uh, whereas rational numbers are those numbers which either terminate like you can see the fraction 5 by 2. It has a value 2.5. This terminates, right? It ends. Uh, the decimal places does not go on and on. So it's a rational number whereas this is an irrational number also numbers like 3.333 again this goes on okay this numbers go on but it has a pattern right 3 goes on recurring so it's a recurring fraction so it is also rational so these two numbers are rational but this one is not rational so pi is somewhat of this kind okay so me and my friend said, why not test this? Okay, why not try it out? Because we were free and we had the time and we just wanted to explore all the digits of this pi, all the random digits that we get while uh, writing pi in decimal format. Okay, so what did we do? We just calculated pi. We wrote 22 by 7 in decimal format and we found something amazing over here and it was a great surprise. It was a great discovery rather. Okay. So let me show you what we found out. So let's take our 22 by 7 over here. Okay. So let's calculate. Let's do the math. So 7 threes are 21. Okay. Add a decimal point 0. 7 ones are 7. Okay. 30. 7 fours are 28. Again you are left with 2. Again a 0 and 7 twos are 14 again the 6 okay now we were curious enough to go on and on we just wanted uh, we had the free time we just wanted to find out the digits all the random digits as long we were not as long as we were not bored okay so let's go on as we did in the past okay so 7 8 are 56 minus this you'll get 4 again add a 0 47 What's up? 7 5s are 35 minus 50. So 7 7s are 49. Now here you can note an amazing thing. Okay, so you get 10 over here again. Okay, so this cycle is again going to repeat, right? From here to here. So you'll get 10, then again 7 1s are 7. Okay, and then you'll get 30, 20. So this cycle basically is going to repeat, which basically means that we are going to get the same decimal places 1, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7 over and over again, right? So this pattern is recurring, somewhat contradictory to our expectation, right? We expected some random digits to pop out every time, but here we are getting a pattern. This digits are repeating 1, 4, 2, and 857 okay this will go on repeating so 22 by 7 is a recurring fraction which means that it is rational okay so it was indeed a great discovery we didn't go to tell our teacher but i came back home very happy excited about this i opened up a new book wrote in the title of that book my discoveries hash one and i wrote the first thing in that book pi is a rational number okay i didn't give any credits to my benchmate sorry and i wrote this very own proof of mine okay i said that this digits will go on recurring and you'll have 
142857 this is recurring so 22 by 7 or a pi should be a rational number okay now later that day i realized that we were living in the 21st century and there is no way somebody couldn't have pointed this out before me and my friend at least somebody on twitter okay so i had to do a little bit of research which meant i had to read my math textbook for the first time and also had to do some web searches after the end of the research okay i was able to make two important conclusions one is that both me and my teacher were wrong so i was wrong when i claimed that pi is a rational number and she was wrong when she said that pi equals 22 by 7 so in order to conclude i will say that 22 by 7 is a rational number as you can see it's a recurring fraction so it is a rational number and pi is still an irrational number and the thing is that the catch over here is that pi is not equal to 22 by 7 22 by 7 uh, is not the exact value of pi it's just a mere approximation okay uh, it is a very fair ap approximation it holds up to two decimal places and uh, yeah it's very fair uh, approximation that is what i would say and yeah that was the end to my discoveries and that was the first experience of me with pi